What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, doctor of physical therapy, tonetitan.com, coming at you today with a 30-minute low-impact interval workout that you can do right at home, no equipment required. Now, keep in mind, I chose my wording carefully, this is a low-impact workout, not necessarily a low-intensity workout. I'm going to try to keep the intensity a little bit higher, the low impact, meaning we're not going to jump or bounce or anything like that. We're going to do 40-20 intervals, meaning for each exercise we'll do 40 seconds of work, with a, interspersed with 20 seconds of an active rest or an active recovery period. Again, nine exercises, we'll do that three times through. I've worked in a couple of rest breaks for you guys. Now, I am not including a warm-up or a cool-down with this workout, so make sure that you get some blood flow and make sure that you do something to actively warm up before jumping right into this. That being said, let's go ahead and hit start. First exercise on the board today, we're going to do some curtsy lunge rows, 40 second interval coming at us right now. So here we go, big step to the side, lunge and row. Step to the other side, lunge and row. Looks just like that. A normal curtsy lunge, you're just going to keep your arms right out here in the front. We're going to turn it into a little bit more of a total body activity, get the upper body going as we pull back into a row as well. Now, as far as the intensity on this, um, you know, depending on how fast you go, that's how we can increase the intensity. Again, I kind of told you that there's no bounce in your jumping, but if you need to go a little bit faster, we can come right in here, keep it quiet, just like that. We got four seconds left. Looks good, everybody. Three, two, and one. Now, I always like to do more of an active rest, active recovery um, during the low interval. I don't want you to necessarily sit around and do nothing kind of wait for the 20 seconds. So I'll demonstrate a couple, some side steps right now. We only have three seconds left, and then we're gonna get into an alternating wood chop. Hands up high above the head, come down to the left toe, high above the head, come down to the right toe. So we're basically doing an air squat, but we're involving some upper body, some shoulders, some chest, some back, as we pull into these alternating wood chops. Lower intensity, or maybe beginner version of this, don't go quite so low into the squat. Go through as much shoulder motion as you can. Keep the speed nice and low. If you can, try to push yourself on it. So we're gonna go a little bit faster. Again, a little bit more high intensity, but no impact. Keep your weight through your heels. Sit your butt straight down. Push just like that. Okay, I'm gonna march in place for this, uh, for this low interval. 20 seconds of this active rest, active recovery, and then we're going to get into what I call a reverse fly and reach. One of my favorite exercises for the upper back, posterior chain. So it's a static hold right here, bend forward, reverse fly, hold, one, two, come down, reach, hold, one, two. So a reverse fly, one, two, up, reach, one, two. Now, this isn't just like a passive momentum thing. I want you to hold and squeeze. Focus on the, the muscles in your back and between your shoulder blades up here. Focus on the muscles that are right below your shoulder blade right up here. And so we're going to hold one, two, down, one, two. Let's just like that. 12 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Just like that. So let's get back into some of those Side to side shuffles. Next, we've got quiet burpee. Everyone loves burpees, right? How can you not love to do burpees? Just kidding, we hate burpees. So, we're going to keep them quiet. And so, how that looks, we're going to come right here, down to the floor, step, 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 and then right back up. And so, again, trying to keep the intensity a little higher. If you want even more, you can have a push up at the bottom, push up right there, and then come back up out of it, all the way up. So we're eliminating the bouncing out of the burpee. Normally there's a jump at the top. Normally you can jump your legs back, but we're eliminating that bounce to make this a little bit low, lower impact. Looks good, you guys. Stay strong. Here we go. Looks good. Just like that. And do some alternating marching in place for this low interval. We're gonna get into the next one is a, we call it a high knee pull. Great exercise for the lower body, for the core. Here we go, three seconds. Two, one. Right here, 
Arms are straight up. Arms are going to come down outside my left knee as my right elbow goes outside my left knee. And then alternate it for the other side. Again, the lower intensity version of this. Maybe not so fast. Maybe not quite so high in the range of motion. You can vary the intensity based on your skill level, based on your personal fitness needs. I encourage you to try to push yourself as hard as you can. Make an impact. Here we go. Make a difference. Side step, side to side, 20 second low interval. Looks good. Here we go, next one's gonna be some mountain climber kick throughs. One of my favorites. Hope you guys can see this, right, here we go. So we're right here, mountain climber. One, two, three. Now we're gonna kick to the right. Now we're gonna kick, well, kick right leg, kick left. One, two, three. Right leg goes out to the left, left leg goes out to the right, and back. One, two, three, kick, kick. side shuffles and a lower interval. It's one of my favorites, those mountain climber kick throughs. That's a fun one, fun way to stay engaged with the exercise. Okay, here we go. Half squat side steps. Right here, you're gonna go half squat, side step, 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 and back. Again, the beginner version of this, don't drop so low into a squat, maybe it's just a quarter squat. And uh, maybe you are a little bit slower with your rate. If you want to go more advanced, drop down lower into the squat and then step a little faster. Do a lateral defense drills. Here we go. Looks good. Four seconds. Nice job, guys. Oh, margin out. Here we go. Next is one of my favorites for your core, down in a bear crawl position. So that's hands and toes with the knees bent. We're gonna step to the left and then step to the right. Hope you guys can see that. So some lateral motions. So step and step, step, step. Keeping the core nice and tight, stomach engaged. TA active, that transverse abdominus needs to be nice and active. Suck your belly button in towards your spine. Looks just like that, you guys. Nice job here with a 20 second low interval. <clears throat> Do some side steps on this one. Got one more exercise. We're gonna get down on the floor, we're gonna do some alternating single leg bridges. And then that'll be your first time through. Got two more sets after this. So let's get down on the floor, knees bent. Sit my left leg out straight, up into a single leg bridge. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna switch. So now my right leg's out straight. Two, three, switch. Single leg bridge on the right now. With my left out straight, two, three, switch, and then one, two, three. Nice job, everybody. Here we go. Finish strong. First set. Nice job. Okay, here we go. One more active rest, 20 seconds. And then you're gonna get your first 60 second break. Grab some water, rest it up, take 60 seconds, and we'll come at you for set number two. 
Here we go. So I've got about 30 seconds left on my timer for this first rest period. Um, I love workouts like this. I, I am very much a weights junkie. I love weights, I love to lift. Strength training is my exercise of choice, but uh, I also love to recover. But I make my rest days for my recovery days active recovery days. So I'll come at it with something like this, more of a cardio intense workout. Here we go, curtsy lunge rows. Let's go a little higher intensity. Here we go, curtsy lunge and up. So as I'm working through these active rest days, active recovery days, I'm not lifting any weights, but this is still great. We get a lot of upper body work, we get a lot of lower body work. Cardio, great for the heart, great for the cardiovascular system, heart and lungs. Great way to burn some extra calories. So if you're like me, you like the weights, take your rest days, take your recovery days. As a physical therapist, I see a lot of people who don't respect that enough, who don't take that rest and recovery serious enough. Those are the ones who wind up in my clinic with sore shoulders, sore knees, overuse type injuries. So definitely, Take your rest and recovery days, but don't interpret that as I have to be completely sedentary. Activities like this are great for Here we go, alternating wood chucks. Up and down. Overhead, down to my right toe. Overhead, down to my left toe. Let's just like that. Nice job, everybody. You have 15 seconds left. Five seconds, here we go. Nice shot, you guys. Looks good, looks strong. 20 seconds of an active rest after recovery. Working our way through set number two. Looks good, here we go. Hope you guys are here with me. Hope you're breathing hard. Hope you got some sweat going. I know I certainly do. Reverse fly and reach. Here we go. Reverse fly, hold. Reverse reach. I guess it's a forward reach. Reverse fly, forward reach. Really trying to focus and emphasize those muscles in your back. Don't use momentum. Pull with your muscles. Here we go. hard as you can, keep the intensity high. Nice job everybody, looks good. Here we go, we'll go side to side. If you wanna go a little more intense on these active recovery periods, I do kinda of like the box or shuffle for that. But again, the whole goal here is a little bit lower impact. Let's see, some quiet work, this is everything in this one. So. Down to the ground, step, 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 and up. Higher intensity will be adding push up in there as well. Looks just like that. Step, push up, up. Guys, here we go, nice job. Good job, finish that one strong. Here we go, side to side. 20 seconds of an active low period, active low interval. We're gonna get into those high knee pulls. Three, two, one, from here, outside, here, outside. Right elbow, outside left knee, left elbow, outside right knee. Here we go, here we go, let's go. Great exercise for both internal and external obliques as we get a top-down rotation from the arms, 
and a bottom up rotation of my legs. External obliques under the rib cage, internal obliques just above the pelvis. Here we go. Nice job. Good job, you guys. High knee pulls. Here we go. Mountain climber kick throughs. I'll do them facing you this time so you can see what I've got going on here. I hope you can still see it. Here we go. One, two, three mountain climbers. Kick to the left, kick to the right. One, two, three, kick, kick. And that was one of my favorites. Makes mountain climbers a little more fun, a little more dynamic. Not quite so brainless. Establish a little bit better mind muscle connection with it. Looks good. Here we go. Half squat side steps. Next one. Right here. Drop into the half squat. Three to the right, three to the left. Or however much room you have. Um, maybe it's just one and one. The goal is. Staying down in that lower squat. Get the quads, get the glutes going. But then we're also adding the lateral motion. Lateral glutes, glute mini, glute man. Looks good, you guys. 12 seconds left. Three, two, one. Nice shot, everybody. Oh. Here we go. Next one's gonna be those lateral, lateral bear crawls. There it is. Three, two, one. Bear crawl, left, bear crawl, right. Left and right. Goal here is to keep your stomach sucked in. Keep that transverse abdominus active. Keep your belly button. Drawn in towards your spine. That's how you know you're doing it right. Don't let your belly hang out while you're doing this one. Left and right, keeping the stomach nice and tight, nice and engaged. Nice job, you guys. Here we go. Excellent work. Oh, here we go. 20 second low interval. We've got one more set of single leg bridges, and then we're done. Set number two. Almost up to our second rest break. Here we go. Should be feeling it by now, for sure. Here we go, three seconds left. Let's get down on the floor. Left leg straight, right glutes to raise your hips up off of the ground. Three times, and then switch. Here we go, one, two, three, and switch. One, Two, three, and switch. Trying to push with the glutes. You should feel it right, right in the butt as you push with this. Don't lift with your hamstrings, they're gonna to wanna to help. If you lift too much with your hamstrings, they can know to cramp up. Nice job. Want that one in the glutes, right in the buttons. Nice job, here we go. Low interval, 20 seconds, and then we get our second rest break. Three, two, and one. Okay, nice job, take 60 seconds. Grab some water, walk around a little bit, cool off, 60 second break, and we'll jump back in for a second with you. I shout you guys, here we go, we have 20 seconds left. Workouts like this, again, I love these for recovery days. These low impact um, workouts are also great for uh, sleeping babies, apartment life, anywhere where you need, a little bit of, need to be a little more quiet. 
There we go, last set. Side step, lateral curtsy lunge and row. Guys, I had to go get my hip in. I figured sweat was coming into my face, so was the hair. This helps to pull it out of the way. Here we go. <laughs> People always ask, why do you wear that? I'll wear this to the gym or whatever. It's absolutely not a fashion statement. It's more functional. Keeps the hair out of my face, the sweat out of my eyes. Like I can push a little harder. Here we go, 10 seconds. Good job, everybody. Whew. Hope you guys are here. Hope you're doing this with me. This is our last interval. This low impact, high intensity, home cardio workout, home interval workout. No weights required. Don't let weights be an excuse. A lot of times I'll coach people, I'll work with people who say, well, how am I supposed to strength train? How am I supposed to get in shape? I don't have any equipment. I don't need any equipment. Here we go, alternating wind chops. You don't need any equipment. Just need a little space, a little determination, and your body weight. These are all body weight exercises, but we're still getting in a great workout with it. Looks good, I hope you're breathing hard. If you feel like you can go harder, let's try to push it this last set. This is our last set of all nine of these exercises. You know what they look like, you know how they feel. Here we go, get more in this set than you did any of your other two sets. We'll be good to go. Good shot, everybody, here we go, three seconds. I should have lowered the blood, here we go. Five seconds, and we'll do the reverse fly and reach. Looks just like this. Bend forward, hinge your hips. Reverse fly, hold one, two, reach, hold one, two. One, two, reach, one, two. Trying to pull, feel that. Those muscles between your shoulder blades, right here. Try to pinch, try to squeeze. Right here, muscles that are just below your shoulder blades. Don't treat this as a rest. Make this one active as you pull, as you use those muscles. Looks good, you guys. Here we are. 13 seconds. Nice shot. As a physical therapist, those back muscles are so often overlooked. It leads to a lot of the neck pain, upper back pain, and shoulder pain that I see in my clinic. A lot of my recommendations for those patients are geared towards strengthening those areas. Works wonders. Here we go, play burpees. Down, step, step, push up if you can. And then right back out. Here we go. Oh. Now climb kick throughs. 
Last set of these. Here we go. Down, down, climb. One, two, three, kick, kick. One, two, three, kick, kick. guys 10 seconds left after recovering low pyramid we got the half squat side steps here we go let's go remember the lower you sink into the squat the harder it becomes it becomes more of the isometric for the quads and for the glutes. Push yourself. Drop lower if you can. 15 seconds left. Here we are. Nice job, good Here we go. March down. 20 seconds. March Here we go. Last time, here we go. We have two exercises left, you guys. What can you do in two minutes? Make it count. Left and right. Left and right. Keep your stomach engaged. Keep your belly button in. Don't let that belly hang out. Relax. That's where the core comes in. It is great exercise for your upper body. Great exercise for your lower body. Keep that stomach stuck in. Get a ton of core work as well. Single leg bridges, be down on the ground, get into that position. Let's go. One, two, three. Try to push it, get in more reps this set than you have the previous two sets. Here we go, push hard. Last one, halfway there. Come on, now, here we go. Excellent job, everybody. We finished with the last 20 second low interval. We set the side steps. 10 seconds left. That's it for me, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet here on YouTube, you can go to the circle button right here. Two more great home workouts that you might enjoy. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks, guys.